Good morning. Welcome to La Mirada Four Square Church. Are we awake this morning? Yes. Oh, hey, you are. <laughs> I'm so glad you're happy. You're here with us. I'm happy that you're here with us. That's what I meant to say. Um, here to worship, to praise, and just to glorify the Lord this morning. Let's pray. Father, we're here for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to worship, to praise, to glorify you, to lift you up, Father, to focus on you. We're here to focus on you and solely on you, Jesus. And this morning, God, if it be your will, we ask you to enter in this morning. Enter into this building, enter into each of us, and overflow, and overwhelm, and overcome this morning. Yeah. We love you, we thank you, we glorify you. Yeah. Let's praise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. so grateful, so grateful, so thankful, 
just thank you for gathering us in your place. You're giving us a gift, Father. And that is your son. That precious name of Jesus was born in a manger. Give it to man because you knew our sins. You knew my sin. Father God, I just pray that you let the Holy Spirit inside of each and every one of us, Lord. And you just reign. In this season, Father God, we just we give it all to you, Father. All glory and honor is to you, Lord. For giving us your baby boy. Jesus, we're just so thankful that we have you. We have you part of our life, Lord. The greatest gift that one could have is you, Jesus. So I just thank you, Lord. Thank you,
right relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus. Again, I want to say thank you for being here this morning. I don't even, I don't know about you guys, but I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. We prayed this morning, and we welcome Him into this place. Um. Let's open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father God, again, thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We will exalt you and we will praise and we will glorify you, Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, again, for being here, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Heavenly Father God, as your word is brought forth, Lord, they would touch hearts, dear Heavenly Father God. And they would understand what we're saying, Lord Jesus. But Father, you are great and greatly to be praised. Again, be with us, Lord Jesus, and open up our hearts. Just ask in the precious name. Amen. Amen. I want to open up with a scripture. It's not it's not in here. It's found in John 1 1. And it says, In the beginning was a word. In the little Bible says, in the beginning, the word existed. Mm -hmm. The word is Jesus. Jesus was sure in the beginning. So it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about our dear Heavenly Father this morning. Mm -hmm. And again, Janae sang the song, Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? And uh, I, I felt impressed to just talk about the song, and I'm going to try to explain each each verse that that is uh, brought forth. The first one says, "Mary, did you know? Did you know that your son will one day walk in water? This baby that she was holding." Did you know that he was going to walk on water? The scripture is found in Matthew 14, 24 to 27. And it goes this way. And the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them. Walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. 
It, it is a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Jesus was walking in the water. He went to go meet the disciples who were in the boat. And when they saw somebody walking, they were scared. And they said, it's a ghost! It's a ghost! I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys would feel that way too. A ghost is coming. He's walking in the water. But then what did he say? She said, fear not, for it is I. It was Jesus walking in the water. Mary, did you know that one day, your baby boy, me. We'll walk on the water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second verse says, Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know, Mary, again, this baby was going to save our sons and our daughters? Did you know that? And again, we find the scripture, 2 Corinthians, and I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord. I will be a father to you, and you are going to be my sons and daughters. Hallelujah. We're his sons and daughters. That's what we get excited about. Praise God. We got a great, wonderful God. Woo, glory! Can I do a little jumping? Praise God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God is good. He's my Father. You're His sons and daughters. Praise God! Amen. Isaiah forty-three six says, "And I say to the north, give them up, and, and to the south, do not let them, do not, do not hold them back." Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. If my sons and daughters are going away, bring them back. The enemy's not going to take you. They're my sons and they're my daughters. Praise the Lord. He's not going to let us go. Once you come to the Lord, you're his. You're his. Even when you're on the world, you're his. I was his on the world. He ministered to me out there. He still was letting me know he loved me. Praise God. He's my father. It's like a son that does something bad. You still love him. Why? Because he's your son. A daughter goes on the streets. I still love her. Why? Because she's your daughter. God, don't matter what you are, you're his sons and you're his daughters. He wants you back. He's not going to let you go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, jump with me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God that I am his son. That's why I'm here, because I'm his son, and he's my father. Hallelujah. That's why you're all here, because you're his sons and you're his daughters. Amen. Amen. Come on, man. Get excited here. <laughs> yes, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would. <laughs> okay, I lost it here. <laughs> baby, did you know. Uh, <laughs> baby, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would was, was save her sons and daughters? He saves us. Praise God. I love it. I love praying to my Lord because he's my father. And he saved me from all evil. He besides me. The word says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. He doesn't. Hallelujah. Did you know that your baby has come to make you new? Did you know that your baby has come to make you new? How many of you knew that? Amen. How many have a question mark? Come on, you got a question mark. Second Corinthians 5, 17 to 18. 
Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. If you come to Christ, your life changes. You are new. You are new when you come to Christ. The old has gone. The new is here. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gives us the ministry of reconciliation. And, and I, I try I look up the word reconciled and it's, it, to me it's, it's saying that we're friends with God. God's with us. God cares for us. We become friends. You know, we, you know, You've heard that song, or there's verses, we're friends of God. That's what we are. We changed, and we have that relationship with the Lord now. Your old is gone. Your old is gone. Your new has come. You have a new relationship with the Lord. Praise God! Praise God! Does that deserve a jump? Yes. Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna be jumping a lot now because I'm excited. Woo! Hallelujah. Mary didn't know all this. She was holding a little baby. That's why the question is, Mary, did you know? He loves our sons and our daughters. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to his name. This other one says, the child that you deliver will soon deliver you. This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. He will save you. He will take you away from things that, that, that disturb you. He'll deliver you from evil. Again, we, we find that in Mark 8.25. Once more, Jesus puts his hands. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That's wrong. <laughs> Colossians 1 13 to 14. For he has rescued us from the domain of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the, the forgiveness of sin. He took us out of darkness. When you went with the Lord, you were in darkness. He took us out of that. Praise God he took us out of it. I thank God he did. I thank God that he never left me nor forsake me. Even though I was in darkness, he was there trying to get me back into the light. And I finally came back. Amen. Hallelujah! <laughs> he delivered me. He made me clean again. Woo! Glory! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God's good. <laughs> he forgave me of my sins. How many say God forgave me of your sins? Amen. You have been delivered. Hallelujah. Amen. You're all new creatures now. Now, you're not all creatures, are you? Praise God. Somebody's gonna have to get up and talk to me. <laughs> He's getting out of hand. <laughs> hey, he's right next to you. He's jumping just alongside of you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to the blind man? Mary, did you know that he will give sight to the blind man? Jesus came down and he gave sight to the blind man. He reads, once more Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened and he was restored and he saw everything clearly. The Lord put his hands on his eyes and he saw everything clearly. Let me tell you something, you're going to laugh. Because my daughter said, Did the Bible only really say that? Because yes, it did. Remember, Rachel? We read and it said, Jesus spit on the guy's eyes. 
Remember? And she goes, Dad, did you really see that? Yeah, it says it right here. And he did that and he got to see. His eyes were open. The guy here put his hands in the guy's eyes and he opened. God, if you are blind, God can make you see. And I'm talking about spiritual blind. If you can't see what God is doing, you better ask him to open up your eyes. So you can rejoice because this man's eyes are open and he rejoiced. Now I'm going to jump. He rejoiced and he jumped around and said, Glory, I can see, I can see. Hallelujah. There was another time he touched somebody's eyes. Can you see? He says, Yes, I see three people that look like trees. And he laid his hands on them again and prayed, and then he saw clearly. God did this. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that he will calm the storm with his hand? How many know that? How many of you believe he could do that? One time, this really happened. I was at work, and this guy had to work in his car. And he tells me, pray to your God that it stops raining so I can work in the car and I'll go to church the next Sunday. So I prayed to the Lord and I asked him, and this really happened. I asked the Lord, don't let, it, don't let it rain tomorrow. Let it have a clear day. Guess what happened? Woo! Glory! No more rain! It was a clear day. He got to fix his car. Yes, God can, can clear the storms. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. We serve, I want you to know this, we serve a great, wonderful God. Do you understand me? Say amen! amen. We serve a great, wonderful God. Amen. Come on. Amen! Amen! amen. Man, get excited! You're not going to jump, shout it! We serve a great, wonderful God! Amen! amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 8, 26. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the waves, and it was all completely clear. He rebuked the wind and the waves, and it was clear. Yes, God is control. God created the place. He could do anything. What a great, wonderful God. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels drop? Oh, that, that, that. That's really something. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels have been? Did you know that? How many knew that? And he came down from all that where all the angels worshiped him and glorified him. And he came down to tell us the story. Praise God! He left the angels to come here to bring us the story. Now it's found in Job, the first part of Job. One day the angels came to present themselves before God. The angels came to present themselves before God. To worship Him. To exalt Him. That's what we do when we come to church. We come here to exalt the Lord. To praise Him and to glorify Him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My God is real. He's real with my soul. Yes, hallelujah. We come to glorify Him. On our prayer meetings, we worship the Lord. Woo! Glory! My God is real. My God is real. I like this one. 
And when you kiss your little baby, when you kiss your little baby, you're kissing the face of God. Woohoo! Man, that brings tears to my eyes. She got to kiss the face of God. She got to cuddle God. She got to wrap his hands around the baby and kiss him and tell him how much she loves him. I feel sorry for uh, Moses. He only got to see the back of God. <laughs> but here Mary got to hold him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah. 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 Ladies, we're going to be the praises of God. Woo. And we're all going to jump. Praise God. I saw you, Lord. Hallelujah! Are you even passionate about talking about you? <laughs> Woo, man! How exciting. It reminds me of Daniel. When he was born, I didn't get to see him born. I didn't even get to see Rachel being born. I didn't even know when they brought Rachel in, into the room. But I saw when they brought Daniel into the room. And there was mama all happy. She was wrapped in a blanket and she was kissing him. Wow! That's what Jesus wrapped in a blanket. And, she, and Jesus and, and Mary was hugging the baby and kissing it because it's her son. Praise God. Hallelujah. How great that is, isn't it? One of these days, we're all going to hug God. We're all going to hug him. Hallelujah. You know the song talks about, um, I forgot the new song, if I'm going to dance in front of him, if I'm going to kneel down and pray, oh, when I see Christ, I don't think I want to hug him, I'm going to cry. Because I'm going to see the presence of God. Hallelujah. Lord, I'll hug you after I worship you. I'm going to hug you. But right now, I just want to worship you. Hallelujah. There's coming a day, people. There's coming a day. We're going to be in the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is found, oh, okay. Okay, um, I'm lost here. Um, okay, look, there's a. Uh, I'm missing, I'm missing a part. Don't, don't go away. Excuse me. Um, huh? No, yeah, that, but that, that, that one's, uh, that one when, when John, uh, okay, I should have, uh, okay, wait, wait up. So, okay. <sighs> okay, I'll get it right now. I'll get it right now. Um, we're missing up. We're missing up. Um, well, it talks about it's a loop to a seven twenty two. And it talks about him again healing. He's nerdy, you know. The blind will see, the lame will walk, the dumb will speak. And then, and then it goes to Luke and says that the disciples of John went to Jesus. To ask him if he was the one or not. So he went back. So he fled to the messenger. Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, and the dead hear, and the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Jesus came to heal everyone, every disease, 
Jesus came. Remember, did you know that Jesus came to heal everyone? He came and he did that. Any of you that are sick, come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. He's done a lot of miracles. He done the miracle of my cousin Tony. He had cancer. It went away and it came back even worse. We pray for him. And guess what? The doctors couldn't believe he had nothing no more. It was gone. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's something to jump about, Tony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then you got my uncle. My uncle had COVID. He called me. I have never heard my uncle that way. He was scared. He had tears coming out of my eyes. He said, Bobby, pray for me. I'm scared. We prayed for him. The next day, he was getting better. They took him out of the oxygen tank, and he was breathing all right. Hallelujah! That's time to get excited. Praise God! Hallelujah! He's healed me. Had a heart attack. Five strokes. And I'm still here. Praise God. Hallelujah. I serve a great, wonderful God. Pastor had, had uh, um, a cancer. Look at him now. Woo, glory. God healed him. Yes, God can heal everyone. We serve a great, great, wonderful God. We need to get excited and tell people what a great God we serve. Mary, did you know that your baby is Lord of all creation? Okay, skip one. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Isaiah 35, 6. Then the, la then the lame leap like a deer, and the, and the mute talk sh shout for joy. And the waters gush forth in the wilderness and the streams in the desert. When you worship the Lord, Things seem to be dry in your life. When things are going bad, where's my Lord at? Where is he at? And your whole life seems dry and dead. But when God does a miracle, woo, things change. Your life is great, like a stream of water. You're free. You can worship the Lord. You're filled with his presence. Praise God. How do you feel, Theo, when you were healed? Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, praise God. Tony, when we pray for you, how did you feel? Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. Awesome. Things change in your life. Pastor, how did you feel? Huh? Awe and awe. And me, I just say, praise God and hallelujah. <laughs> My God is real. Mary, did you know that your baby is Lord of all creation? <sighs> Hebrews 1.10. He also said, in the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy was Lord of all creation? Of all creation. He put everything together, Mary. He created everything. The water, the mountains. He created everything. Hallelujah! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, glory. He created it. He's a creator. Like the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. 
And the word was. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on, you got get excited. Get excited. And the word was God. And the word, the word was God. And the word was. Oh. Hallelujah. Get excited, man. Did you know that, Mary? No. <laughs> Mary did not know that. <laughs> Mary, Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nation? Did you know that one day your baby boy will rule the nation, the whole world? Did you know that? <laughs> Mary didn't know that. He's going he's gonna to rule the nation. Man. Where, where did we find that at? Revelations 11, 15. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven when said, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of the Lord, of, of his Messiah, and he will rule forever and ever. A trumpet sounded, and God created, gathered all the people that he knew from the world, he gathered them all together. And guess what? He brought them to a new kingdom. Heaven. New Jerusalem. Where we're going to be with him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're going to be with our Lord. Praise God. Woo. I feel like doing the moonwalk. <laughs> so excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring my Lord a new kingdom. For, and he's going to reign forever and ever and ever. Whoa, hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Yes, praise God. Did you know that your baby was heaven's perfect lamb? Did you know that? Oh, yes. Oh, she knew that. Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? Perfect lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. John 1, 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Look, the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Man, a perfect lamb. John was there baptizing him. John looked up, and he saw his cousin coming. He didn't say, hey, cuz, what's happening? He didn't say that. He looked at him and said, behold, the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. A perfect lamb, without spot or wrinkle. He came into this world to die for our sins. A perfect lamb. Hallelujah. That's what he came for. Did you know, Mary? Oh, I like this last one. And the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. He's a great I am. The child that is sleeping, he's a great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. And you find it in Exodus 13, I mean 3, 14. Jesus said to Moses, Moses went up to the hill of sign to talk because he saw the burning bush. And he went up there to, he was curious about this bush. So when he, when he went up there, the Lord told him, take off your shoes for you're standing on what? Holy ground. He took off his shoes. And God told him, you are to go free Israel. 
And, and Moses said, really? You know, I mean, I'm going to go kill Israel. So he's going to do it. And then he said, who should I said send me? Who should I send send me? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to Israel. I am has sent me to you. I am who I am. He's it. He's the creator of the world. I am. There's nothing else you can say. I am. Praise God. I am. I want to conclude, conclude this by saying it's a little Christmas story, you know, and I thank God that I had the opportunity of speaking this to you. But Jesus came. He was born. He came and did all these miracles for you to let you know that he is God. And he did one more thing. He came to die for our sins. That's how much he loved us. He says he comes to save the world. That's how he came to save the world. He came to save the world by dying in the cross for us, being whipped for us, shedding his blood for us, because his blood is what gets us clean from all our sins. Remember, you are his sons, and you are his daughters, and he's, and he's not going to let you go. He's going to bring you back to him, he said. He's going to bring you back. No matter where you are, he's going to bring you back because you belong to him. Like I said, my God is real. He's real in my soul. Hallelujah. My God is real where I can feel. He's made me whole. Yes, hallelujah. My God is real. Yeah. <laughs> he's real in my soul. Praise God. My God is real where I can feel him. In my soul, my God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting Mary bring you up, dear Heavenly Father. There's a lot of things she, she didn't know. But she held that baby. Man, praise God. Praise God. You got a great, wonderful God. Yes, hallelujah. So when you celebrate Christmas next Saturday, remember the song, Mary, did you know? Remember what the Lord went through, all the gifts that he has given you, healing, miracles, walking in water. Remember that. Remember that you're his, you're his son and daughter. He's your father. Hallelujah. Remember that. Don't forget that. When you open up that presence, you say, thank you, Lord. Don't forget to sing him happy birthday this Saturday. It's his birthday. Hallelujah. My God, there you go. My God is real. <laughs> and like I said, and I'll say it again, he left, he left his mighty glory, his mighty throne in glory. He left it to bring to us redemption story. He came down as a child. And he died for our sins. He didn't have to come down. We know that. You all know that. He didn't have to come down. But he loved you guys so much that he did. What's that song? What's the song? I don't know why Jesus loved me. I don't know why he cared. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm glad he did. So glad he did. That's how much he loves us. I remember, he's your father. Don't forget that. Don't forget you're his daughters and sons. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Anyone in, in, in Facebook or YouTube, if you don't know the Lord, I would ask you to come to him today. 
Come to him today. Become his daughter or his son. Let him be your father. I ask that you just repeat with me this small prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me my sins. I want to be your son or daughter. I want you to be my father. And help me, Lord, to do your will. Thank you for forgiving me my sins. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's, uh, it's, it's announcement time. Uh, much better. All right, these are the announcements for December 19th. Uh, there will be prayer on Monday and Wednesday morning starting at 6 a.m. until. Again, there will be prayer Monday and Wednesday morning this week starting at 6 a.m. Uh, there will be Bible study this Wednesday starting at 7 p.m. with Pastor Bob and Pastor Mike where we're looking at the Christmas story. Uh, there will be no Spanish Bible study until further noticed. Uh, there will be fasting and prayer the second Saturday in the month of January. It's usually on the first Saturday, but this time it's going to be on the second Saturday, which is January 8th, starting at 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. here at the church with Pastor Sam and Amanda. If you can only come for a few minutes, that, that is fine. Whatever time you can spend in prayer, that would be great. There will also be a joint Christmas service at the Redeemer Church, which is next door, uh, where I'll be speaking next Sunday, December 26th, starting at 10 a.m. Once again, we'll be having a joint service with the Redeemer Church across the parking lot, uh, December 26th, starting at 10 a.m., where I'll be going over Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And the Redeemer Church is requesting that we wear masks for the service. And again, if you have any uh, questions, you can see me about that. All right. Now, one of the things I always ask, I always request, is I, uh, um, that the Redeemer Church know that uh, we're loud. All right, okay? And know that we're, actually, we can get real loud. So, as, after Pastor Bob has pumped you up with all of that, I don't want you to be like a balloon and just go, <laughs> 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 and it all be deflated and everything. With that being said, it's offering time. <laughs> all right then, amen, amen, and amen.
for your great, perfect gift that you gave us, Lord. Thank you for coming to this earth, for healing the sick, for raising the dead, for giving the blind their sight, for giving the deaf their hearing. Thank you, God, for this perfect gift that you gave us, for showing us your great goodness and your great love to us every day. Thank you for continuing to reveal yourself to us. Thank you for continuing to show us more of who you are and how in reading your word and praying, God, I pray that we would continually strive, continually look to you for guidance, look to you for direction, God, remembering your sacrifice and living every day in thankfulness and gratefulness for all that you do for us. I pray, Lord, that as we go from this place, that you would be glorified in how we are with each other, glorified in what we say, glorified in what we do, God, and that we would always remember your sacrifice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are dismissed.